Well, what's going on everybody today we have the guide for the forge in Illuvium and also for the storage we're going to talk all you need to know about the forge and the storage so let's jump right into it we're going to make it a quick one so you can save time and know everything you need to know about these two features in Illuvium so in the forge the first thing I wanted to mention is you don't have to bring your own materials the storage and the forge are linked so you never have to bring actually those materials to the forge to craft anything and the only thing that I will mention for that is you have to de-equip your boots or your jetpack if you want to deconstruct it. Right here we got forging and deconstructing and we're going to go into that more in detail just in a minute. So first we're going to look at all the things on top here. We got armaments, we got all the armor that your ranger can carry and all the weapons. We got equipment which is basically the jetpack and the boots. Those two things have a major priority in the game because it enables you so much more mobility in the game. The visor, you should only craft this if you don't need to use those resources on anything else because it's not going to help you a tremendous amount. It's going to help you a little bit and it's still worth it, but not more than anything else. We got the augments. You don't need them in the game. You're not using augments to fight any other illuvials. In the future, of course, you need them to fight in the arena, but for the game, just for catch capturing Illuvials, you don't need those. Then we get the Shard, probably the most valuable resource in the game. Always make all your Shards. And the very important thing, don't forget to pick them up. Because anything you craft in the Forge will land in your storage, and you need to pick it up to use it. It happened to almost everybody that they forgot their Shards after curing them. And they went into an Illuvial run and didn't have shards. So that's bad. Don't do that. Then we got the gemstones. You need those for crafting Illuvials like the Lynx. If you want to do a Terra Lynx or Earth Lynx, you need to have the right Earth gem for that. So you only need them for those Lynxes and you also need them for skins right there. And you don't need to craft them. You don't need to forge them before you need them. So yeah, just if you need one, go craft it. Then we got the drone augment, super important. We're gonna go into this in more detail just in a bit. And yeah, they're gonna enhance your capturing chances, like everything about capturing Illuvials to improve the power or reduce the cost or increase the chance of capturing or reducing the chance of the Illuvial running away after a failed capturing. And then you get also everything about mining, also the same thing, increasing mining chances, reducing the costs, and so on. Then you got everything about scanning as well, and also about the heat map, and I think even the visor. And yeah, those are really, really important if you maximize, if you want to maximize your efficiency in any run, Illuvial capture or mining. So then we, right here we can fuse our illuvials right here i can show you how it's done i got 19 stage one lynxes and now i can fuse three of them into the next stage in the stage two links and i can choose which links i want it to be um, the relentless links is the fighter we got the nimble links that is the rogue we got the stoic links that's the bulwark it makes sense right it got a shield on his face so it's probably the tanky one Got the arcane links, has a little eye on his face. It's probably the mage, the scion. Then we got the virtuos links with a little, little star on top. That's the support. So you can fuse your illuvials. It takes three of them to fuse the next stage. After you fuse them, the three are gone and you have one of the stage above. Then we have the skins. We got Mozart skins and ranger skins. They look super nice. I'm a big favorite, a big fan of those. Of this one actually with the with the mouth makes him look super cute kind of like the the weird cat anyway um <laughs> i'm getting off the topic so let's go into detail of all of those armaments what i want you to know first is everything has five tiers that's basically the rarity of the item well zero to five so six in total so you have the tier zero which are Crafted by all the resources you can find in tier 0 lands. Really good to start off with. Then they get the tier 1, tier 2 and so on. A big, big thing is if you deconstruct something. We, we can do it right here. So we craft 
Okay, we can craft nothing in tier 5. We craft something in tier 4. This fizz no, we have it already. One second, energy resistance. I don't have energy armor yet. Let's forge it. Here we go. Let's actually forge a second one. There we go again. So now we have two right here and we can deconstruct them. And it will give us this component material that you get from deconstructing anything in the forge. So we'll deconstruct that. And this component will be used to craft anything in, uh, in the same tier at a higher stage. So what do I mean by that? This energy armor is tier 3, but it's stage 1. You can see it right here, this little dot. So to level this one up, you would have to craft the stage 2 of this energy armor. And you will need those components that you get from it. So... For example, if you want to craft that tier 3 dagger right here, you will need 8 components. And to get those 8 components, you will have to deconstruct 8 times a stage 1 weapon from the same tier. So let's give another example. If you want to craft, for example, this thing right here, Twin Blades of Tranquility, you need 2 components. Where do you get those two components? Always from, in this case, weapons from the same tier. So you would have to deconstruct two of those Ashfrey Spatas to get the two components you need for the dagger. So all the components you need for an item, you will find them by deconstructing items in the same tier category. Because all those things, they need different components, so it's not the same. And by the way, uh, every component has a ratio, has the same ratio as the top one. If you look right here, this one will cost 16 of this Christmas. By the way, Merry Christmas. 16 of this Christmas themed metal right here and 4 of the blue one. And if you go to anything above right here, it will also cost oh, this one not 8 and 12. <laughs> All right. But it kind of stays in relation with each other. This one costs 16 and 4 the other way around. And this costs 16 and 4 this way around, right? You got some 16 of A, 4 of B, 16 of B, 4 of A, or 10 and 10. Like, you get where I'm going, right? It stays in the same ratio. So you can't really trick the system. You just take the one where you got more resources of. So since I have 37 of this and 42 of this, I would use... The one that this one where I use more of the one that I have more of and less of the one that I have less of and this applies to everything so equipment is the same thing if you wanna it's all stairs tier zero so you get all those boots except the wiser all the boots and check pack check pack comes from tier zero material so you need to farm some of those to get the best boots and jetpack. pack and if you want those best boots or best chat pack, you will need to deconstruct eight of the basic ones. Either ones are fine to get the materials for that. So we have three already. I really want to get the Supreme chat pack. I have the boots already. If you do that, you want to deconstruct your boots that you have equipped, your basic boots, but be 100% sure that you can actually then construct the better ones. Because I've heard of many people deconstructing their last boots only to then find out, oh, I'm missing actually some ores. And then they have to go in the overworld without boots. So they basically basically can't jump. And it's getting very hard without boots this game. So just make sure you're not deconstructing your last boots without being sure that you can craft the ones you, wa you want to have. Then jumping over to Augments. Yeah, well, I'm not going to go into this. There is no tier 0 augment. There, we don't need those right now. And if you need them, you craft them. And yeah, that's that's all to them for now for this beta. I'm going to definitely do an updated version of this as soon as new patches come out. As soon as we can use more resources. But yeah, for now, this is not very viable. But same thing. You need to deconstruct lower stages of the same tier to get higher stage things 
Once again, the reminder, there is stages, which is the evolution of one line, stage 0 to stage 3. And then we have the tiers, which is tier 0 to tier 5, which is the rarity of this thing. Alrighty, going to shards, we don't have any... Well, we have still tiers here, but you don't need any deconstruction for this. You just forge them as soon as you get them. And then you don't forget to pick them up, right? All right. Yeah, you just forge them. By the way, I don't know where the game is laggy a little bit, but it's it's not a, like usually my gameplay is pretty, pretty smooth. But right now for explaining, it doesn't matter. I hope you bear with me right here. So the gemstones, we explained those already. You have them, you craft them if you need them for something. Like I really needed an epic shard to craft the skin I wanted, for example. So I went fishing for those in stage three runs. The higher tier the materials are, you will find them in higher tier runs. So in a stage 3 run, you have the highest chance of finding in a tier 3 run, you have the uh, highest chances of finding tier 5 components. Then we go into the drones and talking about the drones up, uh, uh, about the drones in general, you have three drone slots. Two of them will be for very, very useful stuff. It's going to be for either mining, increased mining chance, all the mining stuff. Or for capturing Illuvial, all the Illuvial stuff. Those are the two categories in the two Augment slots, left and right. We can, I'm sure we can pull it up right here. So if you look right here, this slot, the size doesn't matter, which he said. So this slot on the outside and this one is the same. You can put the same Augments in there and you put the, the good ones in there. You see right there, Enter cost reduced, uh, chance for Illuvials to escape reduced. And then right here we got 35 capture power and again chance that Illuvial escapes. So here you put for the mining run you put everything that increases your mining. And for the Illuvial run you put anything that increases your Illuvial capture chances and so on. And then you got the middle spot which is, which is kind of a support augment. And in here you have stuff like scan power, you have visor range, you have heat map. You have all the secondary, less important stuff that won't give you a significant um, boost in efficiency. Like, minus 20% sca scan cost will still be the best, because scanning is really important, especially the deeper you get into the game. But, for example, uh, and the secondary augments right there, as you can see, mining power, that's really good again. You can have the... Let's say the tier, the, the best, the, what do we call it? The stats from those, from the, the primary augments, you can get them in the random, random stats that you put in the support augment. So right here, I have something with mining power, which is not ideal for my alluvial run. So you want to have absolute perfect augments to maximize your efficiency. And again, in this middle slot goes all the secondary stuff like scanning power, heat map, visor, stuff like this talking about those secondary stats you can see it at every augment you go to you have it right here you can see it here on the right in this augment yeah that's also a support augment extra augment slots yeah but that's not actually those augments it's a bit annoying that both are called augments the one that you the items that you put on illuvials and the drone enhancements so yeah, this one gives you extra augment slots for Illuvials and one random attribute. And this random attribute can be anything. So in the support augment, you want to have a good primary stat, random attribute. I hope this makes sense. <laughs> it's a, bit, a little bit confusing, but it's, I think it's not too bad. And yeah, that's all, all to the augments, I guess. If you have any more questions, I can talk about this in depth and can really write down... A perfect explanation for this i hope you understood uh let's put let me just put it in one sentence you have two primary augments you put the important part in there about mining and alluvials you have one secondary augment the support augment where you put probably scanning power because it's the best if you scan a lot or other stuff like this if you want to increase your team size you can do that you can grab more alluvial stuff like this and on every augment you have a random attribute 
which should fit the strategy that you're going in for. So you want to have all those random attributes for mining if you're going into a mining run. Alrighty, that, that was way better. <laughs> So going over to the alluvials, we explained those already. Going over to the skins, we explained those already. So let's just jump real quick into the for and to the storage. It's right over here. First thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna go resources, craftable, and we're gonna pick up all our shards. That's the first thing you do every time you come out of the forge. You go over to storage and pick up your shards. Very important. <laughs> then what else we got? Illuvials. If you want to change your team, right click right now. It says my team is full. Can't do it. So you press I for inventory. Right here you go on deck. You remove the illuvials you don't want to have. Many times I remove everything. I know I can pick up five. And now I press escape, get back to the storage. And now I pick the five illuvials that I want to fight with. I want to take this flare want to take this atipo whatever definitely want to have my right plants uh, i'm i'm gonna do that later <laughs> where's the right plants gone we have a rake i'm super stoked about the rake too anyway let's not let's not flex too much with our alluvial collections there's bigger ones out there there's smaller ones out there mine works really well for what i do with it and then we got armaments, your energy and everything, you just pick it up. Inventory is full. Same thing, you press I. Then you go down here. And then you pick up, you drop anything that you don't want. For example, I don't want this one. You right click it. And you send it to the storage. And this will give you enough space to then pick up the one that you want. You gotta do the same with augments. You go over here, the one you don't need. Pick one of the support augments. You don't need this one. You send it with right click to the storage. And then you go into the storage. And then you pick up your augment right here. And then you have to equip it. Same thing with skins. All of this stuff, all right? Perfect. That's the end of it. Thank you for bearing with me. I hope I could clear up some of this stuff. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, look at that. Oh, no, I just wanted to say we're not lagging here. I don't know what's going on. It doesn't matter. Thank you for not being too hard on my setup. I, I'm trying to upgrade. Illuvium takes a lot of resources because the graphics are absolutely beautiful. I hope this guide, I hope you liked it. If you did, please subscribe. Please let me know that you liked it. Just give me some info what content you want to see because I make content for you. So if you tell me what you like, it helps me a lot. Thank you so much for tuning in. I see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and very happy holidays wherever you are. Peace out.